Good morning, Discover friends. Miss Judy here. Welcome to Discover Time at the West End Library. As you know, our shape for the month of September is the square. And our storybook for today is called Square Cat. Square Cat was written by Elizabeth Schoonmaker. Sorry about that. And she also drew the pictures. And her name is Eula. Eula was a square cat. I have never seen a square cat. She longed to be a round cat like her friends, Patsy and Maud. But Eula was square. Life wasn't easy for a square cat. Mouse holes were impossible. And when Eula tipped over, it was hard to get back up. Eula was invisible in a city and her favorite circle skirt didn't fit quite right. Red shoes made her look short and stripes were just plain wrong, up and down or back and forth. Mm, stripes aren't for everybody. Eula was so unhappy as a square cat, so unhappy that she lost her purr. Patsy and Maud tried to make Eula feel round. They gave her hoop earrings and a beehive hat. Do you think that makes her happier? Patsy painted a red rouge circle on one of Eula's cheeks and Maud painted the other cheek. All together, Patsy, Maud, and Eula rounded their lips and sang ooh while they skipped in circles eating donuts. I like donuts. Eula began to feel round until she tripped and tipped over, which, as you know, is not good for a square cat. That gave Patsy and Maud an idea. They each slipped into a box. They became square cats just like Eula. They showed Eula that a checkerboard sweater with a pillbox hat look dazzling on a square cat and how a painting of a square cat is priceless. Ooh. As for mouse holes, they are impossible for all cats, round or square. Eula was surprised. She did not know that. Patsy and Maud showed Eula that square cats are easy to stack, are natural billboards, and are excellent square dancers. Hmm. I didn't know that either. Eula jumped with joy, tipped, and got stuck like Ollie. Patsy and Maud jumped and tipped too, and got stuck next to Eula. They're all laying on their square side. Stuck flat on their square backs, the three cats gazed into the blue sky. Only a square cat could have this view. Eula purred. Patsy and Maud smiled. Isn't that 
had a great story. I really like that book because it's about cats and I like cats, but it is also a story about two good friends who help their other friend who is sad. It's good to have friends that care about you. All right, let's do our calendars. This is our third Tuesday in the month of September. That will be our first month of fall. Today is Tuesday, but we've also been talking about Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. It comes before Monday and Tuesday. The season, we're going to go ahead and call it fall because today is so nice and cool and comfortable outside. But the weather was, eh, not summer, was sunny, sunny out. Very good. And here is our monthly calendar for September. This is Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. So let's say our days of the week together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. September 2020 is the year. And this is today, right here. Tuesday, September the 15th. Discover Day. All right. Uh, we were talking about Sunday is the first day of the week. Uh, many people do not have to work or go to school on Sunday. Some people go to church on Sunday, or they might go to visit family, or they might go for a walk or watch a movie. All right, let's do our other things we're learning this month. Our color for September is red, red, R E. D, red, red. Our shape is the square. All four sides are the same. All four corners are the same. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you about the number one. Our number for the month is one. Number one. And I have a song here called This Old Man. This old man, I'd rather not sing if that's okay with you. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. That's... That's the first verse, because we're just doing the number one. So that's all we'll do this week. And our nursery rhyme for this week is Hickory Dickory Dock for this month. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Very good. Now our letters and our sight words. Letter A. A makes the ah sound. Ah. Ask. Ask before you do that. And. And. I like spaghetti and meatballs. Apple, apple. Red apples are sweet. B, b, b. Box. The cats were in the boxes. Book, book. Miss Judy read you a book. Bat, bat. I played baseball with a bat. C, k, k. Cat. There was.
is a cat in our story today. Car, car. I came to the library in a car. Crayon, crayon. I like to color with crayons. Very good. Okay, I have a quick project to show you today. I won't actually make it, but I'll show you how. First, you'll need a piece of white paper. It can be construction paper, any kind of white paper you have. Then, you will need a pencil, a brown crayon, and a green crayon, white school glue, and if you have them at home, little red pom-poms. If you don't have little red pom-poms, you could just use a red crayon to color, or you could um, cut little circles out of red paper. What we're making, or what I made yesterday, is this apple tree. In September, I think of apples. So all I did was take a pencil and draw a tree, the brown trunk and the green leafy part, and then I colored them with my brown and my green crayons. Then I took my white school glue and I just dotted little dots of glue all over the green part. You don't have to put a lot of glue, just a little dot, dot, dot. Then I took my red pom-poms and I glued them on the dots to look like apples hanging on an apple tree. And that's it. That's a real easy and quick craft for you to do at home. Like I said, if you, um, if you don't have uh, crayons, you could use markers, whatever. You could even cut this part out of brown paper or green paper. If you have red tissue paper, you could tear up little bits and roll it up and use those instead of the red pom-poms. Whatever, whatever uh, craft supplies that you have at home. Um, I think that's about it for today. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button and I hope to see you back here again next week. So this is Miss Judy with the Discover Time at the West End Library. Bye.